looking ahead to the year, you've, I mean, you've got another pretty packed year ahead, festivals and, and shows with group love and all that sort of stuff happening. Um, will you have time, or have you had time to, to write new music? What's, um, what's kind of the future for, for the band musically? You've got, you're kind of now getting to the end of the cycle. Totally, yeah, we just spent like two and a half weeks in Joshua Tree in California out in the desert and it was kind of like a riding trip and sort of a figuring out what to do next sort of trip and it went really well I feel like we I think there's a, an excitement about some new music and literally when we fly home on Sunday the next day we're going straight to the studio mm. to start recording um, so hopefully by summer that's the kind of the plan is to have some some new stuff out so I think we're gonna try to write more more often that's sort of like a, a goal mm. that we have is not to take so many so many you know so many years or months or whatever for every release but try to squeeze in so it's a busy year and part of that is is trying to make a new record while we're mm. touring and doing all these shows so it's gonna be busy what is the dynamic like this time around working on new music obviously changes in the band and, and things like that between records yeah it's always it's always kind of different like even from the first record to the second record and the second record to this latest record I feel like it's there's always there's always a new avenue to get to a song it's never mm. feels like there's never really been like a formula which I think is kind of to our to our advantage in situations where people want to you know need to take a break or mm. um you sort of just work with what you got and add you know, a few harmonicas to the mix <laughs> oh it's oh it's happening <laughs> it's happening <laughs> um yeah so it's kind of the same thing this time it's like okay this is this is where we are and this is who we got and let's you know see mm. what works and see what doesn't work and part of that is just not you know being open to a new process mm. and knowing that like every every song and every album can be doesn't have to be written the same way mm. you know ideally it's not written the same way twice so um and i think we've sort of gotten in tune with that idea and um feels good yeah and sort of at the point now the band's almost been around for 10 years you've these sounds like a lot of lessons you've learned along the way mm -hmm. perhaps not only from your own experiences but from what we were talking about before with being around the the group loves of the world and those bands that have also been around for about 10 years and have been going yeah. through the same trials and tribulations and bubbles and right. yeah. pops. Yeah, no, I think you, you obviously you, you know, you talk to other musicians and you, you, you know, you hear about, Oh, like what, you know, this and that, and this recording, you know, you talk about your records, you talk about, so you really do learn a lot from the people around you, mm. like what they've been through and how they got through it. And, um, I feel like that's definitely a part of and just I mean maybe I feel like sometimes I feel like we're slow learners sometimes with processes and stuff but um, I feel like we get there eventually which is <laughs> thankfully we get there eventually sometimes it's just when you have you know X amount of people it just mm. takes everyone you know sometimes a little longer or to get to a to a spot where you're comfortable and all on the same page and everything but um. Yeah. You're crushing it right now. I'm. I'm not. I'm just kind of sitting back. I'm like, I wouldn't add anything to that. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna add? To that? Yeah. Uh, ditto. Yeah. Ditto. 